come and so far we have seen is a relationship what we have seen in the person and student relationship that was the is a relationship and has a relationship is really uh, said to be the modular approach so when first NASA was making the space satellite it was really very hard to put up that huge thing up in the space so what they did is they break this satellite into smaller modular pieces so that it could be go up in the sky very easily and then uh, combine those and work with it and each of the modules will be designed such a way so that if any of those are broken or chopped off the rest of the modules will work just fine so that's the modular concept so if smaller things breaks in the system or changes in the system it doesn't affect the whole system the system remains the same so let me give you a, a, a another example that you see in the market that's your motherboard so your motherboard is really designed in such a way so that it works uh, if some of the things are not there so uh, your motherboard is also required a processor a RAM that's it and power supply of course but other than that if you don't have a GPU it will work just fine but some of the motherboards really require a GPU but mo in most cases a motherboard doesn't require a GPU or additional RAMs if you have one RAM it's just work fine if you want to add many RAMs you can add it as much as you like so that's the modular approach and you can also add your TV card to your motherboard so that you can watch TV and so on so if you see the bike we really want to make this bike based on modular approach so what we really want to do is as you have seen that we have made these into pieces so that we could have the modular approach so we want a uh, a part that's really contained with the uh, tires so that we could add one or more or more than two tires as you've seen in movies that they have cycles which has more than two tires and uh, uh, more than two seats so that there could be two people could sit on the bike or cycle so something like that we could design based on uh, the modular approach so you may have the idea that what we want so we just break this into smaller pieces you can see the images so that's for the theory so what we want we want to inherit the bike in this case the bike inherit it from seat handle body tire paddle chain etc but the problem is C sharp is uh, C sharp supports one class at a time inheritance so you cannot inherit from multiple classes at once some language does support that like C++ but Java and uh, PHP and C sharp doesn't support that or PB doesn't support that so what can you do about it the the way that you can follow if you really want to go with the uh, class approach that you make a class of chain and then what you can do you make a class of paddle which inherits from the chain which is not very logical uh, if you really think that this should be separated uh, this shouldn't be but for the sake of work we're just assuming that that's how it's done and then we have tire class which inherits the pedal class so inherits the pedal class and we have then we have handle class which inherits the tire class and seat class inherits the handle class and the body inherits the seat and the bike inherits the body and so on so that's how we get the cycle seems like a modular approach because we break it into smaller pieces but in the terms of modular approach what we have talked earlier that if the smaller piece is broken the other things should work 
but in this chain of command if any of those are broken the others will not work so it's not really a modular approach so what you can do is look for interfaces so interfaces are the way to do the modular approach so what is an interface an interface is like contracts that you must implement in your code so an interface is like as we've said that contract says something 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 and you uh, refer that if you refer that interface in your code let's say in class in class and if you do that then you have to implement these conditions in your class that's it that's the interface so let's see some of the examples in coding we're in visual studio and here we have our interface uh, examples and for this interface examples I have used the uh, Visual Studio diagram tooling system and uh, the class diagram tooling system uh, many developers don't use it because uh, uh, but I really like to use it when I have many classes and diagrams it's really easier to work with it so let's really go to the diagram to see that what I did so what I have is a saveable interface an interface is just a contract nothing else and it's really easy to write let's just go to that interface okay. so that's the interface I have a property and I have a method by default all the properties or method you make in the interface or write in the interface are public that's it and whenever you say that your class is dependent dependent on an interface and you can do like the class as you have did in the uh, earlier class just go to the modular example one so in the class what you did is put the colon and write the class name to inherit from that class so if you really want to implement uh, the contracts of an interface you just write, uh, have to write the interfaces by comma that's it so you can write multiple interfaces but you cannot write multiple classes to inherit from so that's the thing so after i did implement the i savable because i have i savable here which has mm, changes and save methods so when i did implement this what happens is let's say i don't have any code just put this code away clean up and let's say I write manually that I saveable so when I write I saveable if I try to compile my code right now I will have get the errors that says that I didn't implement the changes property and uh, save method so I must have to implement this so if you really want to implement you could manually write the methods or go to the interface or and then press control and then dot you will see that uh, option comes up and says that implement interface I saveable just put enter and you will see the methods that you have uh, declared in the contracts will be written in your class that's it now it's your job to implement those methods properly to work uh, with your application so that's how you can work with interface so let's really copy paste our code so I haven't done anything I just uh, made those regions uh, sorry uh, I, I just uh, implemented those so that you understand that uh, whenever I make uh, a class dependable of an interface it should be uh, implemented that's it I really like to have regions in my code so the easiest way to have uh, to make more interfaces by the diagram tool let's uh, help you make another one by diagram let's say I have modular example 
uh, four class and I really want to have an interface name I test and I want the properties or methods so if you don't see this uh, option here uh, the details you can go to you really go to view and then others then class details you'll see this uh, doc toolbox and you can write the methods that you want to implement let's say test and example to methods and you can change change the types from here let's say you want an int an example and if you really want to have parameters let's say x is a decimal something like that if you want to add another parameter so it's a double so on so to make it dependable what you can do is you can click on it toolbox and just call it like this then the methods will already be implemented in your code just double click it you'll see it it's that easy to just use the diagram so how to get the diagram it's really easy go to add new item and go to class diagram we have to find the class diagram class diagram and add it to your project and design your classes with it let's really go over our uh, modular example 2 to see that uh, how I implemented or what I did different in it, in it so let's say you have a save method already exists in your class and you want or you implemented a interface that also want to implement a save method so how we are going to distinguish those those two the easy way to distinguish or do the right thing is explicitly write your uh, interface then the method name that's it And it's just a ret returning function it's not a public function but you could write a public function if you want oh sorry so if you if you make it public you'll get a compilation error because uh, compiler will be confused that which function it will call but inside the class you can have two same name function one is private one is public by using interfaces only that's it and you don't have to make the parameters different you can have it it will compile just fine compile just fine that's it and another thing about the interfaces even though that the interface was designed uh, to make sure that you implemented the contracts so sometimes you will change the previous contracts but the best way to do let's say that i really want to add a new method to this I saveable. Let's say that I want to add, uh, let's say that void new method. So what will happen that it will break all the codes around that whole application. So that's we don't want. So if you now build it, so it, it will complain that most of the classes doesn't implement this new method. So that's a problem. That's really uh, opposite of what we are trying to do. We're trying to make that the, if smaller thing breaks, the system will work just fine. To solve this problem, what you can do is write a new interface and then uh, Im implement or inherit your class from that interface again. So what I really meant to say is, let's say that you want to make that new uh, method to append in your uh, modular example two. So rather than writing it into I saveable, uh, you write a new method and interface. And interfaces are starts with I capital I. That's the uh, C sharp convention. Let's say a new interface. That's it. And write our method, the new method. new method and we want to implement this new method this new method to our modular example 3 so get the inheritance and just drag it that's it 
you get the inheritance list over here so if I just go to the code details I'll see that new method is implemented but my other's code didn't break so that's really important 